Now to an institution that wants us to all think a little bit smarter. It's called the RI Oz. Now, South Australia has been home to plenty of famous scientists, so perhaps it should come as no surprise that we've been chosen to be the first branch of the Royal Institution outside of London. And if you haven't been along to have a look, here's a taste of what it's all about. The RI Oz is tucked away in Exchange Place between Grenfell Street and Pirrie Street. With the help of 15 million in federal funds backed up by state government and private money, the old Adelaide Stock Exchange has been turned into a science exchange, a spin-off of one of Britain's greatest and most historic scientific institutions. When the Royal Institution in the UK first opened its doors in 1799, its public lectures caused so many carriages to turn up, they had to create the first one-way street in London. Its mantra for more than 200 years has been bringing science to the people and the people to science. Among its former directors are Adelaide's Nobel Prize winning father and son team of William and Lawrence Bragg. Both great science communicators, Lawrence was a pioneer in popularising science with televised lectures. Good evening and welcome once again to the Royal Institution. The Royal Institution's latest director is former Adelaide thinker-in-residence Baroness Greenfield. It's these Adelaide links that prompted her to push for the birth of the sister organisation in South Australia and she hopes it will grow to inspire a new generation of scientists. I'm hoping that young people, and especially girls, um, see that this is a career for the 21st century, it's training for the 21st century, and a kind of introduction is to come and be where you can have a cup of tea and a coffee or a glass of wine, and you can meet the kind of people you wouldn't say come across, and you can all debate and think about what's going on. So this is the history room where mm -hmm. we've got an exhibit uh, commemorating the Braggs. The inaugural director of the Australian arm of the Royal Institution is mathematician Professor Gavin Brown and he's pleased the Braggs have pride of place on both the inside and the outside of the R.I. Oz. There's some Bragg-inspired poetry running on an LED loop display outside, and inside there's a range of equipment reminding the public about the Braggs' brilliant discoveries in X-ray crystallography. And next to the replica of the Braggs' Nobel Prize medal is a pair of original slide rules donated by the Bragg family. And interestingly, it was... Uh patented at exactly the same time as this building was first uh, created. So that might have been the very slide rule that they <laughs> worked on that gave them the Nobel Prize. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's a touch of history. We don't really understand why or how the brain works. Like its counterpart in Britain, the RI Oz is trying to turn young people onto science, with lectures using the latest technology that can be video streamed via the web across Australia and around the world. Do we really want them to mimic humans? Do we really want them to take over the world? The RI Oz also has an impressive internet site, complete with video archive aimed at sparking even more interest, covering everything from the hot topics of climate change and human cloning to the science of football. So let's look at some of the links between science and sport. And while plenty of Australian youngsters want a career in sport, it seems not enough want one in science. For example, if you take uh, engineers, Australia is producing not enough engineers to maintain its current uh, engineering needs. But you've got Olympic Dam and all these things coming on stream quite quickly, and that will add enormously to the demand for engineers. But not enough people are actually choosing to go and study these quantitative subjects. Down in the basement of the building is an art gallery. Its aim is to show that science and art don't have to be kept as separate entities. And inside this room, the viewer becomes part of the art. After a few seconds, by holding onto these sensors, eventually the art installation picks up the viewer's own heart rate. And soon, you have your very own sound and light show. A bit further along are more art installations using video technology. But perhaps the greatest works of art on permanent display are the Morris stained glass windows at the top of the stairs. Commissioned in 1901 to mark Australia's federation, they're insured for more than a million dollars. 
They were a key feature of the old stock exchange and they lead the visitor into the restored boardroom. And so, even if you don't think you're interested in science, the building itself is so alluring you may find yourself converted. It's not just a question of getting to the uh, students, it's a question of getting to the communities and the parents and so on, so that there is an appreciation that uh, science can be an enabler. And if you'd like to see the RI Oz for yourself, it's open Monday to Friday from 10am till 5pm. Thank you.